Wayne Drain and Be Thou My Vision. Now, as promised now, here is today's story behind the hymn. And this week, David O'Connell takes us back to our school days again. He's taking a look behind all things bright and beautiful. Here's a hymn which those of us of a certain age, with even a smattering of contact with things Christian, will very likely be familiar with, all things bright and beautiful. It was composed by Mrs Cecil Alexander and published in 1848 in her collection called Hymns for Little Children. She was inspired to write it when she was teaching some youngsters the Apostles' Creed, which sets out essential Christian beliefs and is spoken out by the congregation in some Christian worship services. She was trying to get the children to understand the bit of the creed that goes, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Traditional teaching methods just weren't working. She decided to write and teach the children a hymn based on these words, and all things bright and beautiful was born. Mrs Alexander had a gift to unpack Christian truths in a simple but hugely effective and attractive way, speaking powerfully not just to children but also to many adults. Thus here we get very specific examples of God's creation, like each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings. She was one gifted lady, and generous too. Her hymn book for children, which included other big hits like There is a Green Hill Far Away and the Christmas Carol, once in Royal David's City, was massively popular and made a mint, and she gave away every penny of the proceeds to a school for the deaf. Thank you. 